Hello and welcome back to Simon Outdoors. I thought I'd give some of you a closer view of the bike trailer that I made. This was originally a two-seater little trailer for my children and uh, last year when I lost my job I had to sell my car I still needed something to move my children around shopping, firewood, that sort of thing. So I made this. So let's just have a, a walk around it basic design I could have done it with a drop back you know to put a mower in it and stuff like that you can sit a mower in it I had this army ammunition tin uh, from a car boot years ago I think I paid a pound for it I just just bolted it through into the body there and what I've done is I put inner tubes in puncture repair kits this is for the trailer wheels and with the trailer wheels they come on quick release pins but because I'm you know going miles with my trailer I don't want it to get pinched so let's just have a look underneath showing you how I built it what I did I got three pieces of timber first and I bolted those to the frame and then I measured the size of plywood bottom that I needed for the bottom. This got an 18 millimeter plywood base in it, which is more than it needs for this this sort of shelf. So you can uh, this sort of shelf, this sort of trailer. But you can see it's very lightweight metal frame, and I've put a really heavy box on it, but it'll last and it'll take some abuse. Um, so this is what it, it looks like underneath. Basically, just imagine a pallet, right? So I built the frame. That slotted into into the other frame, and the plywood sheet sits on top, are screwed, and then I've oil base painted it. I'll show you that linkage where it fits up onto my bike. So that's my little trailer. I hopefully I was just thinking, oh, I, I ought to go out on it because I ain't been out on it for a while, and this is my best bike. Um, when I was about 18, I think it was, uh, you get a driving license. Well, I passed my test at 17, and you get a driving license for two years with six points on. If you lose six points within two years, you lose your license. That's what law used to be when I'd learnt to drive. And unfortunately, the day before I'd got my full test, it's my full license, sorry. Um, I did I did something I shouldn't have done. Uh, I did some overtaking in, in the wrong place, and the police pulled me over and thought it was appropriate to uh, to give me an extra three points and a, and a sixty pound fine, which caused me to lose my license. So not having a license, I needed to get to work, and my bike weren't up to much, the one that I had. So I bought a full suspension bike for about £200, it was all the money I had, and I had to borrow money, because, you know, we never had no money. And uh, the thing was rubbish, there was a problem with the crank down there, where my little scruffy dog is. It was, the bearings were cracking and all sorts of things, and I took it back and I played hell up with shop a few times. And they wouldn't give me money back, but eventually they did. So I went to a shop in Mansfield called On Your Bike, which I, I know my brother-in-law's had quality bikes from them. And I've known Saracen a quality bike. So I bought this one. This one was £200, half suspension. It came with these tyres on, these are the original tyres. This was in 2004, something like that. Something, yeah, I think it was 2004 I got this bike. Maybe even earlier, maybe 2003. So I've, I've had it many, many years and it's in good name. But what I did is uh, I got my car license back and then I decided I don't like this, I want to go on to motorbikes and that's when my 10 years on motorbikes started. But when I had motorbikes I had this really good quality uh, chain lubricant which was a bit like a glue, a bit of a, a gluey wax and I sprayed this bike with it uh, on important parts like the crank and everywhere else and I think that's helped massively keeping the water out and keeping it in good condition. There's only a couple of marks mainly on the top bar here, this damage here, and that's caused by when the bike's fallen over, 
the gear lever has gone round and smacked the top of the frame chipping it the same when it's come the other side so uh, well it's a brilliant bike brilliant bike and I couple the trailer on to that linkage just there you see and then have a strap that goes through here holds it onto that bike so hopefully I'm going to get back out to the woods with that but I'll tell you when I went to the woods and I got some logs um, it was hard work coming home especially with those tyres on I have got some town and country tyres but when you get in the gravel you've got you've got no grip you're all over the place and as you can tell by the trailer being muddy uh, I went in the winter to get this to get the wood and uh, with it, when I loaded the trailer up with the ground being soft it sunk and oh god I was worn out by the time I got home but yeah I got a good bit of good bit of wood I put a bell on there <laughs> so I don't have to keep shouting at people excuse me I can ring my bell <laughs> well, I haven't been out on this one for a while I must admit it's been a couple of months but uh, that's a pheasant feeder I made with a spring on the bottom I made two of these I gave one to a guy that I used to get some eggs from for laying chickens and you can see on top I've got some Fen4 traps mouse trap, live catch I might I have to get that sorted out really because uh, I've seen a mouse the other day so I'll try and bait that and see if I can catch him but uh, I've always been building stuff over it years so old log box that I made out of pine there, that used to be an house but now it's stuck in here this is my old bike shed that I built this the the that shed which is there which you've seen on other videos used to be all the way across here and further but it was damaged so i cut the section out and bolted that that wall over um and then built this this on on here look we 100 mil by 100 mil timbers for posts and then 75 by 75 mil for rails plywood lined it oil based paint it's waterproof so this is like my little barn. It just gets filled with all sorts now, but I used to have my motorbike in here. So I buried a great block of concrete there with a chain through it. So I used to bring my motorbike in here, lock it up with alarm, steering lock, a chain through back wheel into that concrete. I had a disc lock on the back wheel as well, and a disc lock on the front wheel. <laughs> you know, my shed's alarmed uh, as well. Um, you know, barbed wire all of it, gates and that, nobody's going to get in. You know, it's more worth the uh, hassle trying to do this than, you know, pinching one off at streets. So, my bike never got pinched. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is my push bike. So, hopefully, we'll get some gear loaded up another day and we'll go for an adventure with the trailer. So... Kids have been enjoying the new trampoline. Here's a wave, Jacob. Why you took your shirt off? I'm not doing on the trampoline. Oh right, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, thanks for watching Simon Outdoors. And uh, as I said in the previous video that I'm uploading before this one, uh, if you want some outdoor supplies, whether it's for uh, camping, uh, equestrian, canine, military. Any, anything look up a store on the internet just type in Google contact left and they are a brilliant website and I said through through me and through Dave at the store uh, we have done for you a 10% discount so just use the code Simon outdoors all one word Simon outdoors for your 10% off with contact left uh, very good company, a UK company selling quality products uh, as I know because I bought some strikers from them and I'll be buying some more because I've been on the phone today like I said in the other video about a tarp but anyway take care and I'll see you later my friends bye